Hi everybody and welcome to the Saturday stream. Getting the things set up here so we're looking good. And we're going to get to our reveal card here in just a moment. Letting the room fill up here a little bit with people who are interested. Scout, how's it going? Others, usually Zablook is around, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see Cybernetic in here. Might be a little late for him. All right, got a couple people in here. I think it is time to reveal our new card. So let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of that. And Marv too, welcome to the Dwight Army of Champions. Also thanks, uh, before we reveal our new card, I'm gonna just click over here and thank some more people who have either supported the channel via Patreon or just signing up to be new followers. Uh, Marv2, obviously. Austin, thank you for the pledge via Patreon. UberWizard96, DaddyV, Gone52, thank you for the follows on the Twitch side. Uh, Ivisor, I think you followed a couple days ago, so thank you. Um, we have another one here, HJBJINJBVV. That's a that's an interesting name, but thank you for the follow. Spartacus147, K3OZ, K3OZ, thank you for the follow. And I think that's most of the new people, so thank you for the support and the follows there. And everybody here has been very patient, waited long enough. Here we go. Let everybody take a look and think about it for a minute. So that's our new car, the Panzer Zug 61 BP 42, elite German tank, nine to deploy, five to operate. Heavy armor, 3-9. If Panzerzug 61 BP-42 is in the front line at the end of your turn, draw two cards. So another armored train, which is interesting and fun. Uh, my, main, my mind went to, after I uh, saw this one, uh, obviously a big ramp target here. Um, then if you think about it, there's also, I believe this is the only German uh, unit at the nine slot. So if you have something like Red Banner or Ural Factories that you can sacrifice into it, yep, you can uh, get this one out for much less than that nine cost. And then the operate cost is also tough. So I was thinking if you're not going to go the Ural route or the Red Banner route, you can go uh, Land of the Free and take the operation cost out of it. So very cool card. Um, Germany being obviously such a frontline heavy faction that this one has some interesting play there. Um, if you get this in the front line, you pretty much are going to win the game. Um, another thing you're going to want to do to just protect this one is maybe even play uh, Great Britain. Uh, interception and Ultra to protect this from getting bounced off the field. Uh, because if you had, it's already expensive enough to get it out there, but then you have to uh, 
put it out again, that could be trouble. And it could be, um, I mean, that might be a backbreaker for you as the, pl as the player of this one. So lots of different possibilities here. We're going to shrink it down a little bit, and we are going to leave it on screen, though. And then, it, just like all of our other cards, if you put its name, all lowercase, into the uh, chat, it should pop up, and it'll have all of the different... Um, okay. Um, oh, there it goes. Okay. My... Uh, cards setup wasn't working properly, so let's just, oop, wrong one. Oh boy, move that back. And then I want to pick this, and I want to move our card up, because I got the chat box back up there to uh, see how we're doing. Oh, I don't think it sucks. I think it just needs a little bit of help. And it's an elite card, so it's not going to take up a ton of deck space, which is good. I mean, it's, it's you know, Leopold. Imagine going this big train, the, the pain train is what I was calling it. Imagine going with the pain train and then going into Leopold on the next turn. That's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet 9-10. And like you said, the... Um, and we'll get into the decks we're playing today in just a second. Let's actually make this big again. So we talk about our card here a little bit. I don't think it sucks. I think it needs a little uh, protection, certainly. And this is the kind of like over-the-top, crazy, interesting stuff that can, you know, if you're a new player and you open this thing, you have the whole point of your deck in front of you. Um, I think if you can either cheat it on the deploy side or the operate side, then you gotta, then you got it. Um, well, it does need protection from uh, other units. It needs protection from orders. So, I mean, any big elite unit is gonna need at least a little bit of help from orders. Um, so I, I like it. I wish um, I'd still like to see if we, if we can get it, if we can cheat it out a little bit, I think would be interesting because I believe, it, like I said, it's the only nine cost German unit. So I'm into it. I'm down. I dig in it. Um, if it's in the front line, you know, we put it in the line of fire a little bit, which kind of makes us earn our money, which I think is fair for a, for a unit that's going to affect the game that much. So that's our that's our review card, Banzer's Sug 61, BP 42. I think it's interesting. I like it. I'm I'm also very much of the ramp. I'm on the ramp train. And I like controlling the front line. So, and also the, the, the fact that it's a tank combines with a lot of German stuff. Um, you know, if you're playing German American and you can give this thing blitz or something like that and move it up right away, uh, well, I guess you wouldn't be able to because that's way too many units or credits. But, nope. Sorry, Scout. I don't know why it's uh, Nightbot's angry at you. Just give it a second. Yeah, I don't know why. I It shouldn't have the um, caps prevention on there. I don't know why it's doing that. I but I did just change Nightbot settings um, after the last stream. So maybe that's... I mean, that's what the issue is. Um, yeah, I mean, Reichsbank gets you into it. Um, the War Machine and Reichsbank put together. You know, this, if you drop, that's a hammer. Like, if you can get this thing out and move it around, they're, they're not coming back from that. So, that's a, that's a hammer if I've ever seen one. Um, 
And plus, essentially, it has, you know, nine plus armor, so it's not getting bombed, or it's going to survive at least one bombing, and then you repair it or something like that. I think there's a lot of... It, it, it's so big and beefy and has such a giant line of text with the, the draw two per turn that you got to respect it. If you, if you can get that on the field and move it, it deserves a lot of respect. I mean, it's... It's, it's going to make a big difference once it's on the field and in the front line. Um, anyway. Yeah, it doesn't have guard. Um, yeah, the, the Soviet one, with the fact that it's making um, infantry every turn, you know, is, is a 1-1 one, one infantry worth two cards per turn no but it has guard and so i mean there is a balance there but i think there if you go turn if you ramp 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 go turn nine this turn 10 leopold or turn 10 multiple other tanks this thing's going to draw so much attention to itself that you can uh, it really frees up your other units to do things, or it frees up um, the rest of your hand to deal with their stuff. So you, like, they have to play into this card, which is could be used as a diversion from other stuff, other goals you're trying to accomplish. Well, yeah, it, it needs... I mean, the, the, the tough part is, too, we got to keep in mind, is we're just looking at it in a vacuum. We're not um, seeing it in a deck, seeing it um, in action so much. Because I, I have to imagine that they played this card quite a bit. And there's there's probably a reason why uh, it's 9 to 5 and... You know, I, I would just like to see it in action. See if we can see if we can get it on the field, and then see how much of a different difference it makes. It reminds me a lot of the mentor mechanic from Magic: The Gathering in these past couple of sets. Uh, when I first saw that mechanic, I was kind of like, "Meh, it's not going to do all that much. It's not that powerful because you have to set it up so much." There's um, you got to attack with two creatures, and one has to have more power than the other one. And I don't know. It, it didn't at the time. It didn't seem very strong to me. Then I played with it, and it like just pummels people. And I have a feeling that this is going to. Oh man, these st songs are stinky. Um, I have a feeling it's going to play a lot better than it looks like in a vacuum. At least that's what I think. Yeah, you can't patent it, um, but with the, how the Germans operate just in general, you're probably going to have, by the time you get to nine, you're probably going to have the front line already. It's artistic. What's up? So this thing moves up on turn 10, and then you still have five credits to work with to do other stuff with. Plus you start to refuel at that point with the two cards that it draws. I don't know. I, I, I'm very interested to see it in the wild. I agree in a vacuum um, by itself, it's, it looks a little slow and a little uh, build aroundy, but you know, we, we haven't seen it in the wild yet, so um, let's get to um, what we're playing for um, this afternoon for a little while. Uh, as we all know, we have the uh, achievement reset coming up, and uh, I'm going to try and bang out this foot soldiers achievement. That's really the, the closest one that I have right now that it's kind of feasible to pick up before... Uh, everything gets reset. So we got two decks that we're going to play this afternoon. Stream Achievements and Stream Infantry. Stream Achievements 
is uh, Japanese Soviet and just a ton of infantry with some good special and elites mixed in there. Just uh, an aggressive build for uh, trying to get that foot soldiers achievement. And then the other one we will probably play at least a little bit is uh, another flavor of that with uh, Soviets and USA. We played that earlier uh, this week. Uh, I think we played it Monday night a little bit. So we'll probably play those two. We might play some control or some ramp. Uh, uh, I, can t I can tell you that ramp will be featured tomorrow on the website for the What I'm Playing series. And uh, a new feature of What I'm Playing is there's going to be video. So there'll be a five game video uh, kind of watch the deck in action kind of thing. So check that out on the website tomorrow. Uh, we play the ramp deck. So just catching up on chat here. Yeah, Marf, you're, you're right. I mean, I'm not saying this, the Panzer Zug here is one that you automatically can see and slam into a deck and uh, just get it out there. And like, it's just like a raw, powerful card. I don't think it's that. I think it is a big piece of a multifaceted plan, uh, which the Germans, that's their style, uh, combined arms, multiple threats, that kind of thing. And good luck to our opponent, unidentified transgender. Looks great. Um, we're not really worried about our rank or what we draw. We just want to get foot soldiers onto the field. And just trying to grind out that foot soldier achievement. That's the only one I think that's really in range for me this afternoon. And we'll try and win, of course, but... But yeah, um, I think you're right, um, Marv. It's not like just looking at it raw on the surface, it does not look like um, a world beater for sure. It looks like it needs help. And that's what a lot of, I mean, Germany, Germany is not like a single dominant card faction. They are a multi-faceted, multi-arms. Uh, um, let's see, let's drop one of our back row infantry here. And then let's poke the Volksgrenadier with our bloody sickle. Um, and then everybody just make sure levels are good and sounds good. You can hear me, hear the music, hear the sound effects for the game. Anything comes up, let me know. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I can see in a vacuum it is not the best card ever. But in um, a multidisciplinary, multifaceted attack... You know, it's a big threat. It's a big threat. And I'm just having a little lag here on the machine, so bear with me for just a second. Come on there. Yep, you name, yep, Land of the Free is definitely an option with this one. Oh boy, I'm stuck here. There we go. Jeez Louise. Okay, now I have black screen, so we're back to our week one technical issues. There! Hey, we get to play again. All right, well, wasted that turn because of technical issues. Let's take a look at 
what we got going on here. All right. We should be okay. I don't know what the problem is, but all right. We're, we get to play again. So we're going to move up some infantry. We're going to take out their infantry. All right, let's get a Me Too regiment out there, move that up. And we're going to save our Type 93. We'll attack with our light infantry. And like I said, the point of this deck is just to roll out with a ton of uh, infantry units. Just to work on that achievement. So. Yep, you name. I think you're right. I think it's um, it's not a standalone uh, world beater card for sure, but I think there is um, good opportunity to build around and make it a significant threat that's going to um, make it interesting to see how it does. I think another thing to uh, think about with it is how, how do we cheat that 9 deploy? And stuff like Ural Factories, that helps you cheat that 9 deploy cost. So, yeah, I know, it doesn't count towards what we're doing. But I also wanted to make something that was relatively competitive, too. Because I didn't want you guys to just have to sit here and... Watch me get my head thumped in game after game. So I wanted to uh, at least make something that fits the spirit of what we're trying to do while also being competitive. So now we could just do this and this, and these guys hit the HQ, right? Okay. Um, yeah, let's upgrade one. Scout card there. And we'll upgrade this one. And let's see. Oh, I haven't had one of these yet. The Type 96 25mm AA gun. That's Blitz, too. How about that? Okay. Um, let's pass the turn. So, how is everybody's Saturday going? Panzer Zug 61 BP 42. Oh, Sartistic, don't worry. I don't do cool stuff ever. I'm not cool. No, I'm, I'm just playing. Um, so hopefully they don't play another guard unit here and we're going to win this one. Yeah, first time I've seen it too. The, key, or the KI 46 Dyna. Yeah, I haven't seen that one yet either. So hopefully they don't play another guard unit. And... Um, Okay, but we're going to win the game here. We don't get to draw, but we can kill the Churchill with our Amphibious Assault. And then we just punch that HQ with our Dyna. So we get the win. Got some more steps towards our achievement. Don't know if I'm going to pick up the achievement here. Ah... You'll see a lot of Dinas with Scouts card, so I'll tell you something. Think about that. All right, let's get back after it. Um, yeah, Marf, yeah, the, the massing infantry of the Soviets. Yeah, I mean, that's something I'm trying uh, with this one as well. Kind of a token go wide kind of strategy. Um, you can go, uh, remarkably, you can go, pre go pretty wide and pretty tall with um, the Soviets, with with the the no surrender. So that's a, that's a fun way to play as well. Uh, I kind of do that with the uh, Soviet USA uh, version. This one's more just, just go wide. So G7 Red Plague, good luck. Get rid of these. All right, well, we'll see what happens. 
Oh, you paired uh, Soviets with Great Britain? Yeah, you could do that. I mean, the one thing that uh, they've done a nice job of is if you ever, everybody can blend with everybody else, which I think is uh, a cool way to go about it. So 15th Cavalry Regiment out there. Put our Akita Regiment out there. Attack with our 15th Cav. Pass the turn. And let's see here. Okay, move our Akitas up. Oh, they go missing. Uh, yes, that's a good point, Scout. Um, for those who are just coming here to check out the new card, thank you for joining us today. Um, and if you want to see Scout's card, uh, that'll be tomorrow uh, morning or afternoon, Scout. Um, but that's twitch.tv slash scout card, just like uh, the username is there. And he'll have the third uh, preview card before the dev update had to start next week. So it'll be pretty sweet to see uh, what the third one is. Oh, third and fourth. Oh, excuse me. I did not know that there was a two. Uh, is it a two card reveal stream, Scout? Or is Mrs. Scout getting to uh, show one off as well? <laughs> All right, we got to get rid of this black watch here. So we'll draw some cards. Shoot the black watch a couple times. Another Me Too, but we're going to upgrade this Me Too with a Euro Factory, see what we get. All right, not a great upgrade, but instead we'll just draw off of that one then. Because otherwise we're going to lose it, so might as well just draw two off of it. But, uh, Scout, um, you should be able to put your, a link to your stream in, in the chat, and I don't think, don't think it'll be blocked. I hope it won't be. I purposely changed the, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, just click on the username. I'm still learning how all this stuff works. I'm not as, uh, as seasoned a veteran as some of the other, some of the others are around. So, all right, let's get some Akitas, some Me Too's out there. Going to the movies? What are you going to go see? I gotta see uh, Captain Marvel still, so no spoilers. All right, great. And we don't mind if uh, they try and take the front, the front line here. Yeah, and this is kind of a weird stream for playing, at least. Oh, I'm going to see Captain Marvel. That'll be fun. Don't, don't, no spoilers. Don't, don't nobody blow it. Um, kind of a weird stream for playing, cause, um, well, don't tell, don't know my wife think that I'm psychic. No, she can't because I saw the the trailer for the new uh, the new one. Um, Oh, jeez, Louise. That's okay. Like I said, this is a tough stream for um, playing because there's so much of this is going to change. This is just a grinded out. Um, uh, we should get rid of that commandos too. Our amphibious assault. Um, but this is kind of just play cards and try and get to this next level of this achievement before everything gets reset. Um, if you have the opportunity to bang out some achievements this weekend, highly recommend that you do so. That achievement reset is, well, it's like free money, baby. Free money. Because, uh, let's see, so that'd be five, and then I have three left, so we're not going to do that. We'll play our other no surrender, our expensive no surrender. And, uh,. No, well, I'll take care of that. Um, 
Oh, B110 or BF110. So, how's everybody else doing? Everybody else got uh, good stuff going on this weekend or anything fun going on? We'll take out that 110. And we lose this guy anyway, but eh, what are you going to do? Hey, <laughs> Scout, I was doing yard work. Um, I got up at about 8.30 this morning and got a couple hours worth of yard work in so I could stream this afternoon. So you take it easy, man. And uh, I'll try and drop in to your stream tomorrow. Check out what you got going on. So thanks for dropping by, though. Appreciate it. All right. So let's see. Can we... How are we going to do this? Well, I think we're actually going to do a uh, lightning conquest here and take that out, take that mosquito out, and then drop a no surrender. Everybody digging the new tunage because I got this app going that, that makes it so this is all, um, I'm not going to get sniped by YouTube or Twitch for copyright material. So we're trying a new... Oh, great. Thank you. Because now I get another T-34 out of this. Oh, Marv, you're a runner. Oh, I'm a runner too, but man, the winter was so rough here in New York that... Whew, didn't get a lot of running in this winter. All right, so our plan next turn... Okay. So we're going to move all these up. We're going to drop our six guards again. That's fine. We're going to move our T-34 up and take this Panzer out. Now we could have Ural Factories the T-34, but I'd rather just take that Panzer out. We might Ural Factories the six Airborne Guards, depending on what happens next turn. But we'll end the turn here. Um, oh, uh, oh, you were in the army? What, uh, what, uh, uh, branch, or I guess, like, what unit, what can you reveal about your army time? And thank you for your service, by the way. Um, a good friend of mine was a medic in the army, I uh, went to Iraq. And then uh, my brother-in-law is also in the army. He just got back from Afghanistan a couple months ago. I think he's staying stateside for now, but I think he's they're moving uh, like Texas or something like that. All right, let's see. Um, I think we want to kind of just wait on everything in hand here. Um, let's play... Now, nah, we're going to draw some cards off of one of our infantry. Okay, great, great. All right, and we'll move that out and move these guys up. Oh, Australia, that's not so bad. You guys uh, got some stuff going on down there. You have a, a special podcast guest host that lives in Australia, from what I've heard. And uh, what are these guys? Oh, all right. So a big fat tank. We'll take it. Um, we're going to just pass the turn here. What did I say? Oh, Austria. Oh, my bad. My bad. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Cybernetic lives in Austria. I think he lives in Australia. Because I'm a dope and I can't read. Well... In, they're on the same planet, like in the proximity of the universe. Why does he keep bouncing my six airborne guards? <laughs> Come on, Red Plague. Um, you know, in the proximity of the entire universe, they're close to each other. All right, six airborne guards. Going to move it on up. Um... Can we win right here? Yeah, we can win. We might as well win. Zablook, what's going on? End this game. Get another victory. Sorry, Red Plague, but... 
We got a chance to play a bunch of our infantry, so... Well, you're the one going to see the movie tomorrow there, Marv. So you tell me about parallel universes and whatnot. As a look, what's going on? We got our we got our preview card here. Just gotta bring up my thing again so I can read it a bit, a bit better. Panzer Zug 61, BP 42, Elite German tank, nine deploy, five to operate, three nine, heavy armor one. If it's in the front line at the end of your turn, draw two cards. Pretty sweet. Yeah, you can post a link. I don't know if you get booted by the bots, just um, you can. I'm trying to think of the best way that we can get it on there. Oh, okay, it did go through. Oh, okay, perfect. Because, yep, yeah, you should be good. If, if I can see it on my side, that means it didn't get blocked. For whatever reason, this uh, my settings on these have been a little touchy. So, Grim Knock, good luck. I'm just going to keep this one. We want to draw some infantry and get them out there. So, our preview card, the the Pain Train, as I'm calling it. Uh, pretty sweet card. Needs, needs help. It's not a raw power, out-of-the-box kind of... Um, we got a handful of removal and nothing to remove. Um, it's not a, a single shot I win the game card, but it is a good... Well, okay. Yes, it, that, that's why I call it the pain train, Marv. Because who, who is it painful for? Is it painful for you as the player because you have to pay all these credits into it? Or is it painful for the opponent because... It can kill them. Or give you so much advantage that you just win the game outright. Alright. So we're playing against an air deck here for old Grimnock. Um, let's see. Hmm. Alright. Get our Cossacks out there. Move our Cossacks up. Uh, I should have left them in the back. I should have left them under the smoke screen. That was dumb. All right, well, the Cossacks are going to die anyway, so we might as well use our bloody sickles to get through our deck here. Well, maybe we upgrade our Cossacks after, draw, after drawing a couple off of them. All right, let's upgrade the Cossacks with the Ural Factories. Okay. So it gets bombed, but it survives. We could upgrade it again, but I think we're just going to pass the turn. Yeah, well, there. if you can find ways to cheat the cost, then you got something going. So we, we were talking a little bit about um, Land of the Free for the Americans, where you can just... Um, ah, shoot. This, but I gotta take out that school if we're gonna stay in the game here. All right, and, and, and sorry. Um, so if you can cheat the operation cost, that's one way to go. Or if you can cheat it on the curve with uh, Ural Factories or Red Banner, that's another way you can go. Blade of the Samurai getting some play here. You don't usually see that. Yeah, well, three attack is low. I don't think the attack is what you're going for with this one. I think that late game card advantage is what you want. Oh shoot, I should have saved my Blade of the Samurai. Alright, well, at least we get some use out of our Bloody Sickle. And that's his brother right there, the BP-43 Armored Train. For our reveal card. Alright, um, we'll save that for next turn. The Akita's up. Drop a Type 93. Drop. Oh, phew. drop a Type 93. Um, let's see. Where are the Akita's? They're on two. Uh, we're gonna save our Hero Factories. Three attack is low. Um, you know, it, it's 
it's one of those cards that you want to figure out how to make it great. Because it's cool. It's cool. I, I think it's cool. Um, I think it adds... Alright, we're going to get our... Blow the... Oh, we can't blow that school away. We can ram the... Ram into that, though. And a turn. So 200 USA cards, 500 order, and 400 infantry, and I get three more five-star achievements. Oh, boy. You name. Get to work. Burned out? Come on. How you be burned out? No, I'm just kidding. Um, a couple weeks ago, I was running into some challenges similar to what you're describing where you just kind of like ugh, i just keep grinding i'm just doing the same thing over and over and over um i think the shake up of the achievements will really help that i think the new cards that always livens the game back up hey thanks marv appreciate it um so, you know, a couple of different uh, things coming up here with the game. I think one thing that I'm really looking forward to is going to be a um, let's see, let's take that. Yes, it will. okay. So, Mito Regiment, take that out. So, you got the armored train. All right. Oh, that's pinned. Well, that stinks. Um, let's upgrade it. Why not? Alright. That doesn't really help out all that much, but... Um... Because it's going to get bombed, so... We're going to drop our Type 93 here. And we just want we just want to keep playing infantry. Just get play all the infantry. Play all of it. All right. We just want to keep playing all the infantry. Ooh, grab a cider. I could go. I think I might be going to a brewery tonight, actually. Um. But uh, sorry. Get back to the thing I was talking about there, but just a minute ago, for uh, you name. Um, draft. I think draft is going to really change, not necessarily the game, but change how. Like, you always get a different experience when you play Draft. You know, we're going to lose this one, the Grimnock, but we got two more foot soldiers out there, so that's good. But it that just, Draft is always new, always different, always testing your abilities. And, uh, you know, constructed games can get stale in a hurry because you're... Uh, your collection's only so big, but draft every single time. It's new, t new thing to do, a new problem to solve. All right, so we got to do, oof, 205 more foot soldiers. Yeah, uh, arena in Hearthstone, or you know, draft on Magic if you play that. Ugh, 205 more. See? You name. I'm feeling your pain. 205 more foot soldiers here. 100 or so what? Uh, Marv. Alright, up against BRL. Now, I don't want the spot removal. Do we want the Euro factories? Eh, yeah. Oh, infantry. Yeah. Infantry's tough. Okay. Um, let's see. We'll take the front line with our 15th cav. We'll poke the Humber with the bloody sickle. Draw a card. Oh. Poke the Humber again. Draw a card. Uh, Zablook, you don't need the exclamation point. That's the only thing. And and hopefully I spelled it right. <laughs> That's always a challenge. Hopefully I spelled it correctly. 
All right, get our recon regiment out there. There we go. All right, let's move up our recon. Oh, that's not very nice. It doesn't get destroyed, though, so that's good. All right, pass the turn. And gets it out of their hand, too. That's more important. Because I have a ton of blitz units in here. I would think to just throw one of them away. Oh, Amphibious Assault? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, I think one of the... Um, one of the keys to the reveal card, the Panzer Zug, is to not make it what you're relying on to win the game. It's it, Even though it's an elite card, it is not... Your deck should not revolve around it and it alone. It's a it's a role player. It's a very strong role player, but it's still a role player in that combined arms deck. At least that's what I think. Uh, you know, you could you like it like similar to almost like Leopold. You're not um, necessarily all in on Leopold. Oh yeah, the pain train. Everybody loves the pain train. All right, um, let's see. We do want to win still. We still want to be competitive here. So let's do... Um, let's do um, a no surrender. Because then next turn we can do a naval supply run and just have all the cards. Um, and let's blow that thing up. Blow up the anti-air. And end of turn. Uh, let me just catch up on chat here a little bit. Um, supply drop. That would also be a cool one. Um, okay. What just happened? I'm not paying any attention. Um, okay. Let's do our naval supply run. And slam into their train, take it out. I should have left that train in their supply line and just got all kinds of value off of it, but whatever, we'll take it. Alright, then get our 15th cav out, take out that, and then we'll put an Akita out, and then we'll draw two as we sacrifice our Akita, or destroy our Akita. And we had all kinds of options here. Yep, precision bomb. It, it's not um, precision bombing. I think that's how I spelled it. Yep. Um, I mean, it needs protection. I'm not. I'm not saying it, it has all the answers, but uh, get two for one out of that. Me Too Regiment. Okay. So they get a, a Kitty Hawk. Okay. Um, move that up. Um, so yeah, it, it's not... Um, I mean, everything dies to precision bombing, though, and everything... You know, there's lots of ways around the pain train and through the pain train. But the amount that you have to commit to the pain train makes the pain train dangerous. Um, let's see, let's take out the rifles. In a, in a vacuum, the pain train is not... Um, it's not going to get the job done just by itself, but as part of a, a greater strategy, I think it's um, as part of a greater strategy. I think it's uh, oh shoot, they got our sixth airborne. Oh well. 
Um, okay, can we win here? Let's see. Oh, he's got guard on that stupid thing. Well, we can do that. Get in there for six with our Tojo. And then we can win next turn, hopefully. Um, yeah, it can overdraw. Oh, uh, carpet bombing. That, that hurts. That'll catch BRL right up. Um, so, yeah, it's not infallible by any stretch, but it's, uh, it's a solid, um, scary unit that the enemy is going to have to deal with. And, you know, what more do you want from your elite units, right? You want, um... Yeah, let's do it, just to kill this kitty hawk. Why not? Get rid of that stupid thing. Eh, I don't like the singing ones through this app. No. Yeah, I'll try that. Nope, that's not going to get the job done. Oh boy, yeah, you got the big fat tank out there too. So, other than, other than the new card, which I know everybody likes to talk about new cards, but other than the new card, what are we thinking for the new progression system? I think that's pretty sweet that you can uh, essentially specialize in essentially specialize in whatever your cards are best in so you're not you're not stuck um, just trying to beat your head against the wall to get you know to kind of be all around you can specialize which I think is a pretty sweet idea a nice just drop our type 93 out there to start give them something to shoot at Kida, you're up next. And then the Officers Club's a pretty fun uh, way to go about it, too. You win, you win your way up the ranks in three nations, and you get to be part of the Officers Club. I'm down for that. That'd be fun to do. Um, okay, get another Type 93 out there. And we'll kill off. Come on. There we go. Yeah, Zablook, I think you're 100% correct with that. Because I think you really need that kind of stuff to draw... Like, if, if you had somebody who just came in and was like, how come I... How come I uh, or how can I give them a goal to shoot for? There we go, I spit it out finally. They have to have they have to have a reason to want to keep playing, and the current way we had it was fun. I mean, for the testing purposes that we're doing here is totally cool, but for a wider public release, yeah, you kind of need to be able to uh, entice people to stick around and try different strategies, try different cards, because otherwise you uh, you get that staleness issue. That we're kind of seeing happen every once in a while. Come on, stop with the sudden strikes. Oh, hello, auto cannon. All right. Let's see. Let's. Um. Take the auto cannon out next turn. We might as well upgrade one of these Type 93s, right? All right. So this is the F1 M2 Pete. Cannot be attacked by ground units while in the support line. So in other words, he can't bomb it with, or he can't shoot it with the auto cannon. So that's good. Alright, well, 
the song changes though there guy and you can't attack it sorry Peter says no you can't attack Peter <laughs> come on there white crow cool name white crow good idea winter is coming is that all right so let's have four or three power right all right um hmm let's get in there and shoot that down do two more damage and we'll take out the auto cannon with our peter oh no it's a bomber i forgot it was a bomber oh shoot i thought it was a fighter that was my bad i'm a dope all right, we actually just have to take it on the, hopefully our type 93 lives because we need that little point of power there or point of attack. Well, I guess he could just, I don't know, he can't be attacked. I keep, I haven't played with the Pete all that much, but oh well, down it goes. We need more infantry. More infantry. Ugh. Alright, well, we'll bomb. And we'll deadly duty. Alright, now we got an Akita, so we'll play our Akita. Oh, let's see, we got our shoot now. We got an amphibious assault, the artillery. And then we gotta shoot the Volks Grenadier. For no other reason than I wanted to shoot it. And we kind of were hoping that that would stick one of them, but. Yeah, yeah, I think um, you, uh, our user interface updates is definitely one thing that I want to see get improved as well. Where have you been? You stupid thing. Um, get our Type 93 out there, just for playing it purposes. Yeah, definitely want to see some kind, because I don't have the uh, ability to make like a deck builder. Um, outside of the client like I just don't have well I don't have the access to all the imp card images but then I also don't have just the technical know-how to do that I mean I can get pretty close but I just haven't been able to crack it yet and up against panny pan 83 uh, no and no we just want those foot soldiers Ugh. Um, but yeah, you're right, Zablook. One step at a time. Let's get this new cool progression system up and running. Antwerp, what's going on? Get the new uh, progression system up and running. And then after that, you know, we'll get the rest of the cards in there. Then after that, we get the the build the build out of the rest of the client and you know step by step one foot in front of the other kind of stuff all right bloody sickle again to the fifth brigade antwerp check out our new card panzer zug 61 bp 42 sounds like the call at the front end of a football play an nfl football play Yeah, it's a cool card. I mean, there's there's been some good talk about, um, you know, it needs a hand. It's not a raw power level single. Um, all right, we don't want to waste our amphibious assault here. But we want to do stuff, so let's draw more cards. You know, it, it the power level, uh, you know, just having three power makes it susceptible to some removal 
Um, it's expensive, so we got to figure out ways to play it. Um, so no, no giveaway today. Um, oh, and actually, thank you for bringing that up. Um, if you do, the giveaways will be on Mondays for our regular stream. So if you do want to get in on the giveaway, which I hope everybody does, all you got to do is follow the stream, and I'll get you into um, the system that I got built up for the giveaway. Use my amphibious assault on the skua just to get it out of my hand. Um, so no giveaway today, but if you sign up, uh, that'll get you into the drawing on Monday. Then there's also the content creation contest. And that's okay, Antwerp. As long as you're signed up to follow, you are automatically entered. So uh, you don't have to be in the stream in order to win. Um, you just have to be a follower. A member of the Dwight Army of Champions. Um, and then there's the content creation um, pod, or content creation contest. And then there's also the Patreon. If you uh, are a $2 a month lieutenant in the Patreon, then you're automatically entered as well. Um, let's see. Let's use... Let's attack that. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I have your... Uh, I You do it by... Um, Sorry, I just coughed. Um, I do it by Twitch username. So um, I have everybody who is a follower in a spreadsheet, and then I enter that in a little thing, and it gives me a random winner. We don't have any cookies, Marv. Sorry. Um, but you know, multiple ways to enter those physical card pack giveaways, so that's cool. Um, and, you know, opportunity to just say thank you again to everybody who supports the stream, supports the podcast, supports the website, the traffic on there has been really good lately. Uh, I, I have a feeling that it's only going to keep going up and up as more people join the game. So thank you to everybody who supports us on those different, uh, uh, what you want to call it, different uh, avenues. Um, let's see. Let's use the Me Too to take out the Hurricane. And we're going to pass the turn, actually. Um, so just thank you for everybody for all the support on all the different avenues and... Uh, well, and you don't you don't like the achievement reset? Uh, here, look at look at it this way. All right, so I know a lot of people have worked hard to get those achievements, and it's cool and everything, and that's fine. But every time you get a pack, 1939 like through the achievements, 1939 games has essentially given you like a dollar and change, like almost a buck fifty. So, if they reset all those achievements for you, and then you regrind through all of them again, you know, I, it depends on how much you think your time is worth, and if you're playing the game, then you think your time is worth a certain amount. You know, I'm just trying to play devil advocate here a little bit, but... Uh, for every hour, you, say you get, say you consider a dollar or ten dollars an hour is what your time is worth. So they're saying, okay, if you give us an hour's worth of your time, you'll get both the entertainment from the game itself, and then you'll also get a buck fifty or three bucks worth of packs. So, is that worth it for you? And yeah, I mean, there's there's certain aspects for sure that are going to be more difficult to get through. But if you're getting free access to uh, 
packs. I mean, that's really what we're getting is free act, free packs. And that's pretty sweet. Now, if you want to, if you're frustrated about the time required to get those new packs, I hear you, I get it. But I, I think, you know, if you like playing the game already and you enjoy the time that you have while playing the game, you know, that's worth a certain amount of money per hour, too. You're, you're paying for the enjoyment of the game as well. Okay, can we do everything here? Let's see. Um, can we win here? Now, we need all nine credits for that, so... Let's just use this to take out the artillery. Move this one up, attack the HQ with these, and we'll see if we can win next time. Yeah, you'll you'll definitely get them back. They're uh, also kind of buried in the uh, dev update was that they're going to tweak the levels at which you get rewards too and you unlock achievements too so the grind from level three to four right now is really tough i think it's like a thousand to five thousand something like that they're going to change that as well they're like it's going to be easier to get those achievements too so you might not um you might not be able to get them all in one sitting but you know you should be able to get them at least with more frequency maybe not a hundred percent frequency but more frequency than you even were before so that's something to keep in mind at least um let's see are you pinned you are pinned hmm All right, and then we'll use our blade on the Spitfire. Yeah, I, I mean, I am very pro reset. Cause it, like I said, I, I'm willing to pay 10 bucks an hour uh, of my time being invested because I enjoy the game. You know, maybe 10 bucks is a little extreme, but I'm just trying to play a little bit extreme. Yeah, but Antwerp, you're not, like, that wasn't, that 79% wasn't helping you. It, the That number wasn't, uh, um, that, that, that number wasn't helping you get to another level or do something new. It was just a number. It was, it was, I mean, it's a representation of what you've been able to accomplish in the game, sure, but your collection is now a representation of what you've been able to accomplish in the game. And it's, I, I mean, I'm just, uh, I, I think it's, it's a good change in that, or it's a good reset in that instead of just instead of just um, well the domination the domination achievement what do you get for that like three packs or something like that like you're gonna get that back in spades if you just redo achievements and they change the levels of those achievements I mean it's just numbers just numbers and I think the opportunity to grow your collection even faster through more achievements at more attainable levels is a fair trade-off. Yeah, Marv, I have spoken about that on the stream. I even think I mentioned it in the podcast once or twice, is we're all here for the achievements at this point, so stop surrendering, man. You're killing me. Yeah, I mean... If if achievements are what you are into, then yeah, I can see why you get a little frustrated with everything changing so much. 
Ah, oh, shoot. I wish I had one unit. If I had one unit, we could do stuff, but I think we're going to lose this one. But it doesn't really matter. Um, but, like... Oh, somebody just joined the Dwight Army of Champions. Oh, boy. Teal Kelly, welcome to the Dwight Army of Champions. Thank you for your support. So, I mean, the achievements thing, like, if you think about, like, um, some of the Batman games, like, they have all these different things you can pull off to get achievements. Well, yeah, they you you do them and you have the satisfaction of doing them, sure, but it doesn't affect exa it doesn't affect what your enjoyment you got out of the game. It well, well at least for me, it, uh, let me say it that way. At least for me, my enjoyment of a game is not by the cool achievements that I pulled off while playing said game. For some people, it is, and that's totally fine. I'm not saying that that's. Um, you, the, the, that's not my way to play is not the only way to play a game I'm just saying that you can re you can re-earn achievements and all it's going to do is give you more cards in your collection oh a new friend thanks friend I will accept your friend request I'm everybody's friend I'm just very pro um the reset because I think it's a it's a it's actually a reward for players who have put in the time because you get to keep your collection but then you also get to reachieve those things and grow your collection even that much faster and quicker and more robustly that's 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 my read on it I mean if you're into having those check marks next to those achievements then yeah it's going to stink, but it's not going to be so unattainable that you're never going to get back there. Yeah, Antwerp, I hear you, man. Uh, you you invested your... T yeah, I got gotcha. you. I hear you. You invested your time and your effort and your deck... And it's not just in-game. It's deck building. It's thinking about how you're going to play the game when you're not actually even logged in like there's there's a significant commitment of time and effort that goes into reaching all those different levels totally agree with that my thing is is that now that you put that time in and good luck to talisman who we're playing against here thank you talisman um at the same time, you essentially get to... You have a leg up of redoing all those achievements by... You have... Uh, you're, you're already ahead of the game redoing those achievements. So that's got to be worth something, too. That, yeah, you might not um, necessarily have gotten or you might have gotten there already and now have to redo it but it should be in theory it should be easier to redo it the second time around you know that's another way to think about it at least um we're gonna save eh, yeah we're gonna save that bloody sickle because we might hit our own regiment so i anyway, it I think of it as a reward in that you're getting more packs back for your effort that you've put in already. Oh, great. Thank you. Um, but I guess I can see your point of view. I'm not, and, and I'm not even saying your point of view is wrong. Um, I'm just, I'm just saying that you do, you, you are getting stuff out of oh wow look at that cascade effect um, um you are getting something back in return for your time so yeah i think that's what like first win of the day is the idea behind um is um, all right snipe that don't need to draw any cards right now. We got all kinds of cards. 
Um, but daily login, I think a, a cool achievement also would just be like, and if there was a way to make it so pe people couldn't game the client, but just like uh, total log, total game time, like you could have one that says like, like quote gamer, like that'd be the name of it, and it's the num, it's the the time that you spent in this in this screen, like uh, in in game itself. Yeah, Steam does kind of count that, but like uh, in in like in combat itself. So it could be like you could have like combat veteran or uh, FNG or something like that. Like those different levels of actual combat, uh, and then get rewards based on. And then you could also have one for like deck builder, like for the amount of time that you're in the deck builder. It just is like a stopwatch, and then once you hit a certain level on the deck builder it uh gives you some kind of reward like resources or something it says like uh or or like uh like one special card it says like oh you've been doing so much deck building here's a special card to build around something like that uh, uh, that's just me thinking of non in-game stuff which would be cool to have and uh, just be a fun you know because that's part of the game is deck building um, let's see how are we going to do this hang on I think for a second oh that's not coming out till next turn um, let's just bomb all those um, so we don't have any units right now but we can just snipe Let's see, let's snipe that. Let's snipe the plane. Uh, Marv, are you like playing, like are you just like commentating your own game? Uh, Cause I'm not playing against you, Marv. Um, all right, then we'll drop our six guards, get our T-34, blow up that guy. So, like, beyond just the, you won a game, you get stars, you could pick up stars for being in the deck builder, or being in combat. Like, that'd be cool. Other achievements that you could get, while also, like you're saying here, Antwerp, like, there's a frustration of, I put all my hours and effort into this, and now it's kind of being reset. Well, it's like, okay, well... Is there a different way that we can count that effort that you have put in? You know, this is what beta testing is all about. I mean, like, to be honest with you, the fact that they're not wiping collections again, that's really good and generous. Because I know there are other... I've tested at least a couple other games, and they don't... They just say, okay, now we're going public, so everybody loses their entire collection. Sorry. And then they just take all your cards away. And uh, I stopped playing those games because I did not agree with that point of view. Um, we're going to take out the pain train. And end the turn. Oh, yeah. I mean, that you're 100% right on that, you name. So, I mean, I think they're trying to do... They're trying to do right by the players. And that, like I said, is something to um, appreciate. And something to um, keep in mind when we're thinking about the game itself and changes that we would, li we would like to see. You know, there's other games where that don't take... The player's point of view into consideration as much as 1939 games does. Yes, transparency, exactly. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. All right, um, let's do a supply run, and then we're gonna do a lightning conquest, and we're gonna feel bad for our opponent here because we're gonna go biggity bam, biggity bam. 
What? Oh, because of his ambush. Haha. <laughs> so in theory, I can't kill that. Oh, that sucks. Um, I can't upgrade that. Okay. Yeah, because... <clears throat> and maybe somebody... That's an interesting quirk there, if you didn't pick up on it. Okay, so all my guys got indestructible until end of turn. But since this does ambush, it quote-unquote deals its damage first and then doesn't allow my guy to attack through it. Which, that's, I don't know. I'm not a fan of that, but, eh, what are you going to do? Um... Yeah, they, you name, you are correct. They are encouraging different play styles with different factions, which they need to see. Um, okay, kill off. Yeah, I know. What's going on here? I want you to attack it. Okay, that's what I wanted. Because um, now... I guess I... I don't know. Now I'm all flustered. Because you guys got me ranting and raving here. <laughs> Alright. Let's put on a Type 93. And then we're just going to pass the turn here. I think we're okay. I just got to do the math in my head here a little bit. This Getting some artillery there was helpful. So hopefully it stays on the field. Um, but yeah, the transparency and the uh, the listening to the community that 1939 Games has done is... I mean, I don't want to say it's like the greatest thing ever. Like, they're like, it makes them into like this uh, untouchable organization. That, that, but it, it's, it's a very nice, refreshing, um, important and... Uh, unique, I think, is the best word. Because there's a lot of game companies out there that just don't care. And they just say, give us your money, and you're going to play our game anyway, and we don't care what you have to say. So, like, uh, the transparency and the generosity of 1939 games is something that really should be that I appreciate a lot and I think is really uh, important for the health of the community, of the player base, of the game itself, and I think it's relatively unique as well. And I'm having a computer issue here again. We usually have one about once an hour, so what do you know? Um... Okay, there we go. Alright, we're going to upgrade the Type 92. End of turn. So, you know, that's my little rant on the achievement reset. I know it, it can be frustrating for those who put time in and like the achievements they have, but at the same time, um, you're getting free access to uh, new new versions of achievements. Sure, why not? Take that guy, take that guy out. And a turn. So, yeah, the transparency from 1939 Games is like, all you can say is thank you, because there's a lot of companies out there that would just be like, well, you guys can just deal with it. Thanks for your money, you can deal with it. And they don't do that. And there are a lot of companies who do do that and do listen to the player base, but this one's been, these guys have been uniquely listening to the player base, at least in my experience, all this stuff, so. Ha! <laughs> Cards 2 point. <laughs> Spin off. <laughs> Shouldn't it be like 1946 games? Because then the war would officially be over. 
All right, let's try and at least get to uh, the 10 credit mark. Let's go with uh, the Russian American or the Soviet American one this time. So what else? Anybody else got any cool stuff happening this weekend? Anything, any good stuff going on? Anybody playing? I think Marv obviously is playing some uh, cards. Anybody else playing? And good luck to Ariakas. Ariakas. Uh, we don't want the P40 just yet. Um, and just to plug the website just a little bit, we will be, or we will have um, a what I'm playing coming out tomorrow, and it's going to be focusing on ramp. And there will be video with that. So if you want more stuff like this, um, go over to the website tomorrow. Follow us on Twitter or Discord, and we'll post all that stuff tomorrow. Got some good video to go with that one. So uh, looking forward to sharing that with everybody. It might not exactly be the ideal build in the future since uh, every, we're getting new cards and all this stuff's changing over the next couple of days but this is a good uh, opportunity to try and build out a video wing of the uh, what I'm playing series so see how that goes alright well let's, nah, let's not pick that off just yet Move these guys up, move these guys up. Now pick it off. Oh shoot. Oh well, survives. Alright, end of turn. Ping the HQ again. Oh, and thank you to 1939 Games for giving me the uh, preview card, the Panzer Zug 61 BP42. Uh, very thankful and appreciative. Uh, really like to be part of the community in this way. It's a really fun um, opportunity. And... <laughs> Alright, Zablok. Thank you, though. Thank you for hanging out. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so thank you to... Uh, Magnus and Kelly and Gummy and the whole team over there really appreciate all the oh boy we might win right here really appreciate the uh, support from from them and the preview card is just part of that so thank you Nowhere for him to go just yet. <clears throat> Get out of here, mother of flame song. Alright, let's move everybody up. So there's a, there's a win. And we're getting to play lots of infantry, which is our goal. Oh, a little more gold there. That'll be good. All right. See how close we are to our objective. 100 and... What was it? 7 or 69? 169 we still got to do. All right. We'll play well, yeah, maybe one or two more here. So, everybody who's in the chat, thank you for joining me this afternoon. See our preview card from 1939 Games in the upper right-hand corner there. Uh, Panzer Zug 61 BP42. And uh, feel free to talk about it in the chat. 
Uh, also, thank you to all of our new followers, Marv, Kelly, Austin with a uh, donation today, Daddy V with a follow. Sorry, I had to sneeze. And then uh, we're going to be doing our next giveaway for a pack of cards, cards on Monday evening. So if you want to get in on the giveaway, just give us a follow here on the chat or well, on the Twitch account. And then you can also uh, do the content creation uh, contest, which if you put an uh, exclamation point giveaway in there, we'll give you a link to that. And then you can also support us on Patreon and that'll get you into a giveaway for a physical pack of cards cards. So thank you to 1939 Games and uh, for making all that possible. It's really very, very, very much appreciated. You guys are rock stars over there. And we have the reset on the achievement thing coming up, which I think is a really nice boon for players. So thank you for that as well. At least thank you for me, from my point of view. So young, so naive. Good luck. All right, a handful of infantry, that's what we want to see. Okay, well, we're not going to spam the emotes like other people. Okay. get some rifles and rifles out there and the turn that bomber is gonna start picking us off here but that's okay I like this song this one reminds me of the old uh, command and conquer music up in the front, hit the bomber, so we've got all of our Soviet infantry here while we're trying to chew through finest hour on the bomber though, plus two plus two and blitz, so that A A20 is going to pick off some of our stuff here, oops, sorry about that. The enemy surrendered. Oh. Uh, okay. Don't know what so young, so naive was up to there, but alright. So we got 15 gold, so we'll save those for post. Yeah, it's artistic. That's what, that's what I'm dealing with. So we'll save those for um, post patch packs. I don't know why he surrendered there, but all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, look who's back. So young, so naive. He doesn't even get a good luck this time because he was being meanie last time. <laughs> Yeah, because we... What? Uh, uh, oh. Alright there, so young, so naive. I've had enough of your shenanigans, sir. We're just gonna give it a, a second here for so young, so naive to get out of the queue. Because he's being very naive. Um... Oh, okay. 40 cards of Soviet nationality. We should be able to do that relatively easily. Um, British as a major power. I'm going to reject that one. Okay. Ambush. We can do that. 
just trying to scoop up some more gold and we're up to let's see 163 for our achievement we might not get there mrs podcast might put the kibosh on too many more games because we have to get um, the dogs out and using the restroom and then we have to get ready for dinner which we're going out to a brewery for dinner tonight which is fun and cool but that requires some some uh, oh boy okay well I don't know why the timer's on but it's off so that's good um, goes comrade Hindaloo here good luck comrade All right, there, comrade. We gonna get the play? There we go. All right, so 554th, move it up to the front, and we'll drop the 321st rifle regiment. Bloody sickle takes out our 554th. All right, third guards ambush unit. So we're gonna put that out there. Work on our achievements. And they got an I I sixteen. Move both of ours up to the front row. Get another three hundred twenty first out there. Then we also might hang. We got the alliance in hand, which is a good one. All right, they got a lot of planes, which doesn't really help our cause. But let's get another rifle regiment out there. Get that front line loaded up. Start poking in at the HQ. Next turn, let's see what happens. From the people takes out our third rifles. Strafing run takes out one of our 321st. Put our P40 out there though. You can take out both of their planes, so it's kind of a two for one. And, and also, it kind of kills this turn if they go after it first. Which looks like they are going to do. Oh, okay. Still two for one. Alright. This is what we're here to do. And then we'll see what they do with their Yak. Yak 5? Yak 3. See what they do with the Yak 3. What was that? Did I did I attack the Yak 3? That's not what I meant to do. But, oh well. That's how it goes. Alright, then they take advantage of our full supply line. Alright. Move everybody into position. Play our Sherman. Get a card. Oh. Alright, well, then we use our Unity and Strength on our unattacked light infantry 6-6 six, six. We'll go after the HQ and chew up two of their uh, fighters hopefully which one's this one again the LA-5 the patriotic firestorm all right so still a two for one because they had to buff it in order to get through or in order to kill our thing. But we're the champions here because we play the Alliance. Sorry, sorry, comrade. Let's take out that. Take out that I-16, and then three attacks at the HQ. And there's another win. All right, gents. Let's do one more, one more. And then that'll be it for the stream. So one more here, and then we'll wrap it up for the afternoon. Many thanks to everybody for coming and hanging out, checking out uh, the new card. I'll put it up in the Discord after the stream ends. 
And like I said, if you want to check out um, our ramp deck that we've been working on, that'll be tomorrow on the website. Great thanks to 1939 Games for sending all this stuff over my way. And the KB, good luck in our game here. Um, let's see, we don't want the P40. The other ones we'll keep. Um, but many thanks to everybody for coming and hanging out, being cool. Um, and then also, um, we'll be back Monday night in our regularly scheduled spot for um, our regular stream. So you can come by and hang out. That'll be our second pack giveaway. We'll be on Monday night. And our first one has been claimed. I am not sure won last week and did claim their pack. So uh, good for them. They, they got it coming their way. They have, I'm not sure what the sending schedule is for those, but hopefully it'll get over there soon. Okay, wow. We have quite the start going here. Um, and yeah, I mean, just life is good kind of stuff at this point, right? Feeling good. New stuff coming next week, so be prepared on the podcast side to listen to that next week. We'll probably be focusing on almost all this new stuff going on. That'll probably be the plan. Rockets. Draw a card with our M4. Our 554th. Move that up. Freedom. Funny that that's on a uh, Soviet. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Let's hit hit the guard unit. Oh, that's now good. All right, and we're gonna pass the turn because the next turn we're gonna go no surrender and then maybe a couple. Maybe two different strength and unities. All right. So let's see what our opponent does here. Oh, they have their the original pain train, not our new and improved pain train. All right. Well, let's. Shoot the guard unit, because that's what we actually care about more. Okay. Nah, we'll hold on to our other unity of strength. Take out the pain train next turn. Or well, the Soviet pain. That's that's like the the bit the older the old pain train. We got the new pain train for our for our card. Oh, and just to oh boy, just to remind everybody that Scout is going to be doing his reveal cards tomorrow on his stream. So if you want to check out more new cards. Check out Scout's stream. That should be that should be fun. I mean, Scout usually has a pretty good setup for most of his decks. He's a, a very good, to say the least, deck builder. Alright, let's take out... Um, let's just get in for six at the HQ. Put our Naval Brigade out there. Why not? Actually, I should put the Naval Brigade out first, right? And then, uh, then play the Unity after that, but oh well. 
and we can't operate the T-34. Well, you name, you can, you can fight that battle. Oh, and the KB surrenders, so. All right, well, it gets us a little gold, and it gets us up to 19 Soviets played, so let's check out our progress. Probably well over 100 still. 150. I gotta play 150 more infantry units before they reset the achievement. So that'll be my goal for the next couple of days. Hopefully we'll have that done before Monday for the regular stream. But that's gonna do it for us this afternoon, folks. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Just to go over our card one more time. Panzer Zug, 61, BP-42, Elite German Tank, 9 deploy, 5 to operate, 3-9, and it has Heavy Armor 1. If Panzer Zug, 61, BP-42, is in the front line at the end of your turn, draw 2 cards. So, that's what we got for our preview. We'll get it up in the Discord. We'll get the videos up here in a little bit. Thank you for signing up, following along, etc., etc. Uh, we'll have our next giveaway on Monday. If you like what we do, please sponsor us, or well, at least support us on Patreon, and that'll get you into giveaways as well. That's cards or patreon.com slash cards podcast. New podcast next week. Thank you all for hanging out, though. You guys are amazing. We will talk to you, well, one way tomorrow, and then back and forth again on Monday. Appreciate the support, everybody. We'll talk to you later.